Hey YouTube, it's Tyler the Antenna Man. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Clearstream 4 Max. It's marketed as both an indoor and outdoor antenna and claims to pick up broadcasts within 70 miles of the broadcast tower. If you are seeing me for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Looking at the design of the antenna, it's pretty sleek. It has four UHF loops, which is double that of the Clearstream 2 Max, it only has two, and a single VHF dipole for high VHF stations. What is VHF and UHF? VHF has to do with TV stations that broadcast on channels 2 through 13, specifically 2 through 6 for low VHF and 7 through 13 for high VHF. They typically require a longer antenna element like what you see here in order to be reliably picked up. So if you see an antenna that does not have a long element like this, it will not pick up VHF signals reliably. And then UHF TV stations broadcast on channels 14 and above. They're typically picked up better with smaller antenna elements, kind of like these loops. It's also important to note that most TV stations do not broadcast in the channel number you may know them as. So if you have a Fox 8 or an NBC 6, they may not be broadcasting on the VHF band. The same holds true for if you have a TV station that may brand itself as an NBC 28, they may not be broadcasting on the UHF band. To find out what channels your local TV stations are broadcasting on, go to antennaweb.org, type in your address, and look for the RF channel number. The virtual channel is a channel that the station identifies as. So in my market, NBC 28 WBRE. But the RF channel is a channel that they broadcast on. I'm now going to test out this antenna in the same location I've tested out various other outdoor antennas on my YouTube channel. Most of the TV stations are about 45 miles away on both the VHF and UHF band, but I do have a few low power TV stations in my area as well. Here's a list of the stations along with their RF channels and their signal strengths on the last two antennas I tested out on my YouTube channel. On the left side, you'll see the type of diffraction on the TV station. One edge means single edge diffraction or one ridge between me and the transmitter weakening the signal. Two edge means two edge diffraction or two ridges weakening the signal between me and the transmitter. LOS means line of sight with virtually no obstructions in the way. You can also see the results of various other outdoor antenna models by checking out my other videos. The signal strength on WNEP, which broadcasts on UHF channel 50, was about the same on this antenna compared to the last two antenna models I tested out. The signal strength on WYOU, which broadcasts on VHF channel 13, was a little bit higher on this antenna compared to last two antennas that I tested out. The same holds true for WBRE, which broadcasts on VHF channel 11. The signal strength on this antenna was higher compared to last two antenna models I tested out. The signal strength on Fox 56, which broadcasts on UHF channel 22, was a little bit higher on this antenna compared to the GE antenna and a lot higher compared to the omnidirectional antenna. The signal on Fox 29's low powered repeater station was also higher on this antenna compared to the last two antenna models I tested out. The signal strength on NJTV's low powered repeater station in my area was a little bit lower on this antenna compared to the GE antenna, but higher than the Channel Master omnidirectional antenna. Overall, this antenna performed pretty well. It picked up TV stations a bit better than most of the other small directional antennas I've tested out in the past. As far as the 70 mile claim, that's definitely a stretch in some situations, but if you live in a very good reception area and there's no obstructions, this antenna will work for 70 miles, but I feel for some of you, it probably won't depending on the specific frequencies the TV station is broadcasting on, and also if you have obstructions in the way. This antenna is definitely worth buying if you're looking to get the best reception possible using an indoor antenna. It would also work well for those of you that, dare I say it? I don't know if I should say it, folks. Last time I said it, some people got offended. What the hell, I'll say it. This antenna would also work very well if you have a wife that says, I don't want a giant antenna on my roof. I don't want anyone to see this antenna we're getting. This antenna would be a good model for you because it's fairly low profile. 
If you end up deciding to purchase the SAN antenna, please follow one of the affiliate links in the description of my video to help support the YouTube channel. Keep in mind that this antenna does not have low VHF capability and may have trouble picking up some low VHF channels, such as 6ABC and PBS in Boston, Pittsburgh, and other areas that have low band channels. If you are not sure if this antenna is a good fit for your area, depending on the frequencies in your specific reception situation, consider a custom antenna recommendation on my website at antennamanpa.com. Thanks again for watching my YouTube channel. Some of you may be asking, Tyler, what's this about? What exactly happened here? The makers of this TV antenna that I tell people not to buy, but they buy it anyway, sent the mafia and beat me up because I've been telling people not to buy this antenna and it's affected their sales. So as a result, I got a little pounding the other day. All jokes aside, I opened the van door the other day and it accidentally clonked me right here because I opened it up too fast and I was actually pretty angry because I was like, what the hell, this van is bad on gas and now it's also hitting me in the head. So that's where this came from. But it doesn't matter, I just figured to throw in a funny joke for those of you that follow me and like the jokes about the ping ding bing antenna. If you're on Facebook, follow me at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA. If you are not on Facebook, I do have an email list that you can sign up to. I attach a link in the description of this video. Thanks again for watching everyone and have an awesome day.